if you are a Nigerian, can you please lend me your ears? But first, we shouldn't blame God for putting us in a country where lawyers ended up becoming content creators. Where accountants are now makeup artists, where civil engineers end up becoming laborers, where graduates now compete to become mates in a public servant mansion. May I remind you that despite all this, you came from one of the best human race ever. Now some countries are now placing visa ban on Nigerians. It is not their fault though. Now most Nigerians are now seen traveling from Nigeria as a means of escaping and a chance of a golden opportunity. Millions of Nigerians are now traveling through desert, hoping for a greener pastures. The numbers of medical doctors that are Nigerians in UK and USA are more than the numbers of medical doctors in Nigeria. See, Baba God, if any Nigerian should die, please open the gate of heaven for them. Oh. Because the blood flowing in every Nigerian has gone through hell already. Even devil and Mephistopheles without partiality can bear witness. A country where the minimum wage cannot buy a full bag of rice, where your first class does not matter, where the Oba already have a slot, where an average teenager now sells wears and organic cream. The end product of education in Nigeria is not encouraging. If you have a car in Nigeria, make sure you are ready to feed at least two strangers a day. Because your fellow Nigerians must tax you. You hear things like bros or madam give us something now. Apparently, they need it for their basic needs. And these basic needs are what the government should provide. What are the importance of government hospitals if I'll have to buy drugs and injections before I could get treated? And this is a country where our leaders live in a multi-million dollars mansion with exotic cars. Terrorism in this country cannot be overlooked. Our united voices now seems to be an enemy to those in power. But Oga Alaji, what do you want to do with those enormous wealth that belongs to the people that you are just conversing? The true mark of leadership has no interest in ease or opposition. How many lives have you touched as a leader? I'm not talking about your family members that you place in that position that they don't merit to. How many sons and daughters of nobody have you touched their lives? How many of those mansions can you live in? The recent occurrence in Nigeria has shown vividly how they take us. I want us to remain strong, but as well, I want to employ every youth to please develop your skill and talent because these people are not really putting anything in place for us. Nigeria is a country that without spiritual problems, your destiny can be changed. A whole lot of things have happened in Nigeria that we will never forget. Rest in peace to all our fallen heroes. And to whom it may concerns, may I remind you that nobody reigns forever.